James Miss Myrna came, came to receive a healing. What has the Lord done for you? She's going to go ahead in Spanish, I believe, and then translate for us. What has the Lord done for you? Um, hello, everybody. You don't know, but you are our family. Pastor Ronnie and Pastor Adonica, you are our pastor. So she's saying, uh, we come días, from Texas uh, five years ago, every year at the fire conference. Uh, I remember uh, three years ago, I... You speak Spanish, she'll interpret for you. Okay. Yo recuerdo hace dos años, yo recibí el diagnóstico de artritis en mis dos rodillas. So two years ago, she was diagnosed with arthritis in both of her knees. Y un menisco roto. And she had a torn meniscus as well. Pero todo se puso peor el año pasado en el mes de julio cuando regresamos a Texas porque nosotros venimos de Texas en nuestra casa rodante. So in June, everything worsened and it actually um, started getting worse for her. Uh, yo soy de Honduras, cent en Centroamérica. And she's from Honduras, uh, South America. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, usually, uh, we came for the no, no, five conference. Spanish. Spanish. Oh, Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> Uh, tell, tell, the miracle. Ven... tell the miracle what the Lord did oh, for you. Yes. Tell in Spanish. Okay. When I, oh, cuando, cuando yo vine a la escuela de sanidades, yo no podía caminar. So when she came to uh, healing school, she actually couldn't walk. Y yo había recibido una operación de uh, atroscopía. Pero esto no me ayudó en nada. So she had actually received uh, surgery on her knees and it didn't help her at all. It actually made it worse. Y cuando yo vine el día lunes aquí, yo caminaba así. And when she came on Monday, she actually came in dragging her legs. Y era muy difícil para mí hacer las labores domésticas. And she couldn't do any domestic chores or anything around the house because of the pain. Y el primer día de clases, eh, una persona nos dijo que si queríamos una entrevista con el pastor para orar con él. And on the first day, someone had asked them, hey, do you want an interview with Pastor Ryan so that he can pray for you guys? And I said, yes. Y ella dijo que sí. <laughs> <laughs> y cuando yo vine y el pastor ori, oró por mí. And when she came to pastor, he prayed for her. Yo regresé exactamente igual a mi casa. And she had returned to her house in the exact same condition that she came. Ese día era 4 de julio y yo no me pude bajar del carro para ver los fuegos artificiales. And on 4th of July, she actually couldn't get out of her car because, because of the pain. But, pero, at, <laughs> at the next morning, la próxima mañana, oh, Hey. <laughs> yo recuerdo Ella cuando recuerda. yo me levanté de la cama. She said the moment she got up from her yo bed. Puse mis dos pies. She put both of her feet on the floor. Hey. Y yo pude caminar. And she could walk. <laughs> a la cocina. <laughs> she could walk to the kitchen. Limpiar mi casa. She, she could clean her house. Y todo. And everything else that she couldn't do before. Yo caminaba muy despacio. And she, de mi esposo. and she was always uh, following her husband very slowly. But now, but pero ahora, hey! Y también and era also, imposible para mí eh, doblar mi rodilla. And now it's possible for her to bend her knees where she couldn't before. Y durante las clases, en un momento, también el Señor sanó mi hombro. And during class, the Lord actually healed, healed her shoulder as well. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is the healer. <laughs> Brother, you've, you've got a new wife. Amen. She said overhaul in English, and he's like, she speaks English. She said orthoscopy, overhaul, everything. So. You've, got, you've got a brand new wife now. The Lord better touch you to keep up with her. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs>